Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use an attribute selector in order to apply an icon that represents an external hyperlink. So one of my students uh, noticed this, something like this on another page, and they were asking about it, and you've probably seen these too. But on this particular web page, they have a hyperlink, and off to the side, they have this little square and arrow. And that icon represents that this hyperlink is going to take me away from the site that I'm at. It's an external hyperlink. And it's really easy to kind of automatically apply that to hyperlinks on your website. So before I turned on the recorder, I jumped over to feathericons.com, did a quick search for an external hyperlink, an external link icon, and uh, found one, changed the color, adjusted the size, and I just uh, clicked on that, saved it to my images folder. So now I've got it available to me. And I do have a page already kind of started here. Let's go ahead and zoom in a shade so that uh, I've got some generic text and I've got uh, some generic hyperlinks in there. So let's go ahead and clean these up a little bit. Now in my markup, you'll see I've got a couple of versions of these hyperlinks. One of my hyperlinks is target equals underscore blank and that's typically used if I want to take a hyperlink and open it up in a new browser window or new tab basically. Doesn't mean it's an external link necessarily but I'm going to demonstrate uh, using that one. And then, of course, we have something a little bit more typical, an absolute address, um, something actually hyperlinking to another website. doesn't matter if it's an HTTP or HTTPS protocol. We should be able to get it to work with both. And then just a generic uh, hyperlink for comparison. So let's go ahead and get to work. I've already got that icon saved. I've already got some hyperlinks coded in the page. I'm doing a little internal styling, nothing, so, uh, nothing fancy so far, just a little bit of a text aesthetics. Now what I want to do here is I want to style hyperlink, so I'm going to use the A selector, but then square brackets target equals underscore blank, closing square brackets, and then my curly braces. So basically the attribute selector uses the square brackets next to the type. Basically I'm going to be looking for any anchor tags that have target equals underscore blank. So what do I want to do with that? Well, let's see, I want to certainly give it a background image. Now my background image is stored, um, let's go up one level, it's in my images folder and then it's my external link SVG image. Okay, so I've got that background image displayed. In fact, that should be enough that we could even see it. And sure enough, you can. it looks pretty messy, but that background image is behind that hyperlink. So let me go ahead and do a couple of other things here background repeat no repeat definitely want to do that and let's see I also want to put the background position and I want this to be top right I want it to be the far right side and now it's gonna to start to make a little bit of sense you can just see that one external link icon right there on the far right side but I just need space after that hyperlink so I'm gonna give it a big padding right and I'm going to choose 1.5M just because that's my uh, the font size. Actually, it's a little bit bigger than the font size I picked for my paragraph text. So I think that should look pretty good. And there we go. So now we have that icon there. Notice that icon is only displaying for the one hyperlink that has target equals underscore blank. For instance, if this was target equals underscore self, another option, that little icon goes away target equals underscore blank. Now it could be that maybe I'm not using the target attribute very often, but I am from time to time linking to another website. And certainly if I'm doing so, I'll be starting off with an HTTP protocol. So I want to modify this attribute, or I'm sorry, this CSS rule to include another attribute selector. A square brackets href caret equals quotation http closing quote. So what this means is I'm going to look for anchor tags that have a href and then they begin with the letters http and since, oops, let's see, I need to put a comma in here to make this a group selector. So now either of these situations is going to trigger that icon with the exact same styling. Let's go ahead and refresh and there we go. So now we've got that icon on there. So for any hyperlinks that have a target equals underscore blank or any hyperlinks that hyper reference 
to a uh, another website with an HTTP protocol or S by the way because you'll notice that if I put an S on here it really shouldn't hurt anything because I'm starting with the letters HTTP so if I head back to my page and reload we still have that icon so that's the trick simply get yourself a nice little icon that represents that external hyperlink feather icons is really nice I'll, and i'll put a link to that in the description and then go ahead and use an attribute selector to target the kinds of anchor tags that you want and of course you can use this technique to carry on with some other usages so if you want to display a microsoft word icon or a pdf icon for those kinds of documents you certainly can thanks for hanging out with me